John, Olivia, the one word to describe being in a home like this, pretty much simply overwhelming. Pretty much every time you look around, you see something new and unusual. Many of the items are brand new with a tag still on them. The liquidators say you could barely move through the house when they first got in, and now everything has to go. This home may look normal from the front, but inside, a completely different story. I've been doing this for about 25 years, and I have never, ever seen so much stuff. Liquidator Renee Poole was called to hold this estate sale. Records show Ann Edwards lived in the home since 1969. Her husband died more than a decade ago, and she lived alone until she passed. Renee says her family couldn't handle the hoard on their own. I don't think they were prepared to see how much stuff was here. The home packed from floor to ceiling. Things like jewelry, decoration, shoes, and literally tons of clothes. Oh, yeah, and then there's the outside. The outside, oh my God. <laughs> it's taken a crew six people plus haulers to get to this point. They already took about six truckloads of trash to the dump, and you can tell there's still a lot of work to do. About 15 sheds in the back packed full, including this one, built for more clothes. It's just an awful lot of clothes. And you can see that the clothes have tags on them. I don't mean to judge, but she was a hoarder. Butch Nagy knew Edwards. He says he helped her build shelving about 10 years ago and admits the problem started long before then. When I first walked in the house, I had an awful time even getting through. Butch says Edwards was a very nice lady, and while we will probably never learn what sparked her hoard, now it all must go. And everything must go. The estate sale is this Friday and Saturday, and because there's so much stuff, and most of it brand new with the tax still on it, they're selling pretty much everything for a buck except for some furniture items. For more information, we posted a link for you on our website, foxbyvegas.com. Reporting live, Elizabeth Watts, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.